Chamat Paliha Pitiya, the CEO of Social Capital, is one of the more controversial figures in the investing world. Once known as the SPAC King, he faced criticism for his comments on human rights abuses in China and was also sued for misleading investors. In June, he tweeted out a screenshot of a Bloomberg article that said six southern states had contributed more to U.S. gross domestic product than the Northeast Corridor of Washington, New York, Boston for the first time in history. Palihapitiya argued there's a cultural layer to the debate. He claims woke policies were also a driving factor in the migration. Is the major differences between these two groups only ideology? Or is it something else like genetics, health, etc. etc. that I'm not understanding? He asked his followers on X. Several of those followers on the app agreed with Palihapitiya's conclusion, with one noteworthy exception, billionaire Mark Cuban. Name me one woke company that has gone broke, Cuban, a self-described independent, replied to Palihapitiya. Palihapitiya took Cuban up on his challenge, responding with a list of all startups that had gone bankrupt in recent years and said some were likely to be woke, but Cuban wasn't satisfied. A list of startups failing is weak and you know it chamat. Cuban's venture cost plus drugs, which aims to lower drug prices for Americans, is arguably a woke corporation. Launched in 2022, the company delivers over 100 generic medicines across all 50 US states with a simple pricing structure, costs plus 15% markup, a $3 pharmacy service fee and a $5 shipping fee. In February 2022, Palihapitiya stepped down as chairman of Virgin Galactic. For more luxury content, subscribe our YouTube channel, Luxury Bean.